Um, and if you welcome to the stage, Dave Armstrong, who's going to tell us about self-responsibility. Yeah, this is like, what was it? Yeah, and I was introduced to self-responsibility in 2007 when I found myself on a um, uh, Houston station, losing everything in life, and uh, that come crashing into me. And it's the day I took responsibility, I was answerable to my own. But what I realised before that was I was willfully aligned to myself about the life I wanted to lead. So that had a lot to do with it. And I, as Einstein said, doing the same things over and over again is insanity. So, uh, luckily enough, it's now led me with a fascination with neurology and philosophy and, and stoicism in relation to the power of self-responsibility and the dangers of the willful lie. And I'm hopefully getting a book published in the new year, which is The Seven Rules to the Good Life. Anyway, what runs through all my book uh, is the fact of agency. And what agency is, it involves the brain. And it affects every part of your life, and it has three uh, set processes. And those processes are, nothing enters your body without going through your senses. So what that means is you either touch, taste, vision, hearing or smell something. But until you get something that goes into your body, your brain can't start working. That's the first step of agency. Then you get the feeling of agency, which means that it goes into the mind and you deal with your thoughts, your emotions and your feelings. And that's when you battle your brain gets on your yin and your yang, your left and your right, the little devil, the good angel. But then the final part is you have to take a choice. So it's decision time, it's choice time, it's the action to take or not take. So these three processes are working all the time in your brain. And it's how you manage that that's really the key to having a good life. So agency dictates your safety and happiness. It also has a compounding effect. The more you're negative, you will be negative. The more you're positive, the more you're positive. And the outcome is seen through your habits and your behaviours. The big key to it is the cumulative effect of your brain has a really profound effect on how you live. So prior to 2007, I had a negative cumulative effect, where afterwards, I have a positive cumulative effect. Now, this is the work of Snook and Perro. And what they said is, if you have negative or destructive willful lies, here's the now, there's the good life, and you will have an unsure life. So it's a compounding effect, and you will drift in life. However, there's a Brucey bonus. If you change your mind and you, have, and you take responsibility yourself, and you take moments of self-responsibility, you can actually improve your life with positive, constructive agency. So it's a choice that you can physically make. So let's have a look at the willful lie. And the willful lie happens in the feeling of agency. And what that means is, to yourself, no one else, it's your choices, it's your decisions. Just one more cake, you will get fat. One more bet, you become a gambler. You believe things because it suits what you want to think. And also, you believe in uh, the false entries, so when you're in work, you make false entries at work. Just one more robbery, and this is the biggest world in lie. You know everything, you don't know anything until you die. Climate change is a lie, no it isn't. And the biggest lie of the compound and effect is war is okay. In any form, it's not okay. And that's the biggest willful lie. So when you lie, you actually lie to yourself. No one else. When you cheat, you cheat to yourself. And the willful poison is gossip, tittle-tattle and hearsay. You believe in other people's stories. However, the opposite. Become you. It's a wonderful place to be, as I found in 2007. So what you can do is start thinking in a more constructive way. Because everything you do has a sense of accomplishment then. Then you become the true independent self for you. You also, you live within your true reality. 
even if the reality is negative, you can still grab that and change it into a true one. You then begin to know your purpose in life. You then embrace experiences and new ventures by opening the gateway to learning. And sorry for everyone who's not a Liverpool supporter, anything is possible if you believe in it. So the power of self responsibility is changing the narrative. I am ugly, no you are not, the beauty of life we're all different. I can do this, yes you can. I am not worthy, yes you are. So just remember, agency is yours. So when you take agency into your body, take responsibility and choose wisely. Choose the path of positivity rather than negativity. Why lie to yourself? It seems illogical. So beware of the willful lie, it's your choice. And you can do anything you want to be, just take responsibility for yourself. The power is with you. Thank you.